and maintain our iman and protect our families from falling into the trap of shaitan. My fellow brothers, mashallah, almost four or five days now that we are in the Gregorian New Year. So when I was driving yesterday, last night from the masjid, something just popped up in my And I said, wait a minute, how it feels if I were to go to withdraw money from my ATM machine, you put the card, and I was telling brothers last week, you put the card in thinking you have enough money, and then yeah, your balance came out. You maybe you maybe expected. I never expected thousand dollars, and then I said, wait a minute, I want to buy two hundred dollars, then but now it's two, it's fifty dollars. How would be the feeling? That's the ATM machine. But it's more, and I'm asking brothers, you line for one hour in a queue. As you get right by the counter, swap your card, Mr. Muhammad. You swap your card, put on your pin number. Hey, I'm sorry, you have zero account. How would be the feelings? That's the question that I was asking myself. Let's put this into the hereafter. How would be the feelings? I think you think we think we have enough savings. And then when we go and stand before Allah, the, the card is swipe, and there is nothing to show. You see, here at least I can go back. And if push come to show, I could call my brother. Look, I need you to send me something. But over there, nobody can send you an emergency then, no. So my fellow brothers, now we finish a year. We begin a year, new Gregorian year. Either way you call it, it's a year in our life here. We begin a new segment of our life. But the thing is that, am I supposed to be happy, or am I supposed to grieve, or am I supposed to worry? You see, sometimes, when we, we think about there is no joy, somebody will say, why Islam is telling you no happiness? No, but I'm supposed to worry. Why would I worry? Because I'm looking at my bank account going down, and I have nothing to show. If I were to be given 60 years, the book was given to me the day I was born, you were born. You're going to live, you are Muhammad, you're going to live 75 years. Now, 31st December, you see your, your file, you 55. How many remain now? Is it to be happy? I mean, your, your, your balance, your principal money is $10,000. Nothing is going to be added. That's it. It's cap. And now, when you look at your expenditure, eventually the negative is now 50. And now you have 25 left. I don't think every good businessman will be happy. So that's how life is. Unfortunately, many of us, we thought, mashallah, when I'm 60, cook food, which is good. Big dua, thank Allah that you are 50 for blessing us. Because the Rasulullah said, khairukum man ta'ala umruhu wa hasun amalu. The best of you who live long and do good deeds. So if I check myself, and that is my question today, Am I looking at my bank account? I don't mean the monetary bank account. Am I looking at my life account? The way I look and go over my sheet every month when the statement come, bank statement come to us. We go over it. Even sometimes every two weeks before we sleep with this social media, we go on the internet, we check our online banking. Every two days. The day you see something negative, no, I didn't send this check, you get panicked. But the question is, do I do that to my life? Do I sit down and assess how much left, where I go wrong, what do I need to buy, where, where, where is my credit, where is we busy building credit of dunya? Do I have good credit? The brother is probably saying that. I have good credit. What credit do you need with Allah or with dunya? You see, with dunya here, if you're 55, forget it, you're gone. You're just going faster now. A young man of 20 maybe, a young man of 30 maybe, but when you make it to 55, you're now going, you're now on the free fall. It's faster than the way we think. So that's when we need to check our statement, our balance sheet. And I'm speaking to those, most of us who were, mashallah, happy new year. We see new year begin. How do I welcome new year? Now we are in already 2024. 2024. Do you know how many brothers, if you would have to count, from 2000 to now, how many you know who died? Just four years. How many you know who died? And you and I have been given the privilege, the opportunity to live and see extra four years. What do we have to tell Allah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, ittaqu allaha, wa litanduru nafsum ma qaddamat li gajim, wa ittaqu allaha. And I'm going to speak about that five minutes. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, all you who believe, ittaqu allaha, fear Allah. 
Fear Allah. Honor the law of Allah. Be careful before you come to Allah. Watch your step. Don't just misstep. Don't go over. Don't go over. I mean, anything that, that defines fear, we must do it. In other words, respect the boundaries of Allah. No trespassing. We should respect the presence of Allah. Don't disrespect Allah. Allah. And look at what Allah said. You and I, we are alive. Look at what you're going to present tomorrow. That's all. Just look at your file because you're going to give the file tomorrow. What are you presenting before Allah? What do I have to present? Do I know even what is right and what is wrong? Well, it tells let us prepare ourselves what we're going to face tomorrow. You see, the issue is that I think many of us, we don't really care about the tomorrow. We think it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, until al mawt yati baqtata wal qabr sumduku al-hamad. al qabr sumduku al-hamad, that's it. Death will come all of a sudden. Sawfa, sawfa, I will check it. Inshallah, brother, brother, I do not know where and how I'm living. I don't know when. I mean, you don't know. So now that we begin 2024, the question is that, why am I prepared? How would I see to 2025? I don't even know if I'm going to make it to the end of January. We don't even know if you're going to see we will be back here. All of us will be back the way we are here next Friday. We don't even know. We don't know. So it's not a matter of don't be happy, but don't go too far. It's like as we say, you cut in the wood, you're looking at the machete. You cut in the wood, you're looking at the machete. Then just keep going, going. Now maybe you may have a dent, you know that So as we move it, we check back. As we move it, we check back. That is whenever a new year begins that I, you, we are supposed to do. Let's look. What do we have to show Allah? What have I done last year? What do I need to perfect? And I think every businessman, that is the way we do. And even in our co corporate America, the MPS, the uh, uh, management performance forms that when you fill for the big corporations, that's what it is. You sign in, how was it? Your supervisor calling you, uh, you've been coming late, check it, fix this, what do we need? The corporate will say, what do we need to improve? That is what we are here to do. I am here, you are here, we are in this dunya to make Allah happy. That's it. Because Allah said, Walau Allah, man fil kulluhum If Allah wants, He will take everyone. He doesn't care. That wala the Nothing is going to harm Allah. We just wipe each and every one of us be gone. Do you remember? Maybe some of you didn't hear it three days ago. I think it was like two days ago. A little bit of earthquake. Just shook Roosevelt Island. Life was 1.1. See, it wasn't big. It could have happened to be bigger, and it may end up the whole of New York City. I mean, I'm telling you, brothers, we just take life, and the life really is not in our hand. Roosevelt Island, Island right here in Manhattan, 1.1, a little bit shake. Some parts in Corona, Queens, they felt it. If it had been two, three, four, five, and what will happen to Manhattan? Let's ask ourselves this question. And it can happen. I believe in Allah. Allah decided. It's not about Allah is going to do, it can happen. That doesn't mean it should happen. Allah yaf'alu ma yasha, Allah yaf'alu ma yuri. He does what he wants, he does when he wants to do it and the way he feels like doing it. So the question is, now that I am alive, what do I have to prepare? So my fellow brothers and my sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to warn us. Wa la taqunu kalladina nasullah fa'ansahum anfusahum. Don't behave like those who forget they're going to meet Allah. They keep working, uh, busy, dunya, dunya. It's okay. Alhamdulillah, la tansa nasiba kamil of dunya. We have to work for dunya. Adina fi dunya, hasana. We need it, but we shouldn't forget Akhira. We shouldn't forget the destination. Almost 95% of us here are immigrants. Almost. The faces that I'm seeing, 90%. Everyone wish he would have a house where he came from. Am I lying, brothers? Everyone is building a house where he came from. Why? Yeah, when I get old, I will retire and go and enjoy. I will retire and go. But you've been 50 years in America, you never even gone. You've been 45 years, you're not going. So that means you don't even know where you're going to die. But it's still good. We have a backup plan. In case. That's a backup plan. I'm building it. 
When I go there, that's my home, mashallah. But do we got a final home, Akhir? That's the final home. There's, you see, I may not go back to Africa. That one I know for sure. I may not go back. So you may not go back to India, Pakistan. You may not go back to Jordan, Jamaica. You may never go back. We should know that for sure. You may never go back. But Akhira, definitely we are going back to Akhira. Definitely. I like it. You like it. It's bitter. It's not nice to hear. But that is real. You know, they say that death and life, they were communicating. And life said, Mr. Death, I want to ask you something. Yes, ask me. Why is it that everybody hates you, but they like me? Everybody hates you, Mr. Death, but they love me. Life. And death smiled. And he said, Mr. Life, you're right, because you fool and deceive them, and I tell them the truth. <laughs> you fool them, you deceive them. They think you are all that, but I'm telling them, be careful, I am the real thing, as we say in America. Um, that then you don't like real things. Nobody likes to hear what is the truth. We all like somebody calling you, you're going to make this business, we love that. Delusion. Alhaqumul takatul hatta zultumul makabi wa kalla sawfa ta'alamun wa thumma kalla sawfa ta'alamun. So brothers, what do we have to show? This 2024. What did I do wrong? Where, was, where were my mistakes last year? I had to improve it or maintain still the same. Because death will never tell you, me, he, she, when we, no, no, no. Even if we die, we should say, Alhamdulillah. We can go through trials, tests of life. Difficult is your Lamborghini is parked, but you cannot drive it for years. That's it. Your Rolls Royce is parked, you can never drive it. And you see it. Your, your $10,000 bed is there, machine, but you can't sleep on it, right on the road. It can happen. If we die, Alhamdulillah, but in dunya, Allah can just delay your death for 20 years, seeing your wealth with no enjoyment. Believe me, brothers. So let's change our attitude. Let's better our life this, this year to be better people. May Allah guide each and every one of us. May Allah forgive us our sins. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafi khalqillah, nabiyyina wa shafiyyina wa maulana Muhammad ibn Abdullah salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi. Alhamdulillah, my fellow brothers and my sisters in Islam, let us all thank Allah once again that we are alive and healthy and that first and foremost that we are Muslims. If you are a Muslim, say Alhamdulillah. Wa man yuridullahu bihi an yahdiyahu, wa man yuridullahu an yahdiyahu, yashrah sadrahu lil Islam. Woman, you read Allah. If Allah wants to guide to live a good life, He opens the heart to be a Muslim. Nothing to, to get in dunya than to be a Muslim. Believe me, yes, we want money, Alhamdulillah. We need it to buy houses, we need it to build mosques, we need it to. But dunya is for dunya. Money is to take ourselves in dunya. We need it. But the real life is Islam, it's what gives you joy. And look at the end of these two I am going back to complete the first one. And then in the second one. When he said, well, it tells, uh, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, well, it tells you, not so well, look at him. Fear Allah in the Habirun bima ta'amalun. Allah is well acquainted. Habirun is expert. He knows what you do. You cannot fool, we cannot fool Allah. is Habir. He knows it. Before we say, before we think, He already knows what we're going to think because He designed us. He knows how we can eat. He knows the way. He knows our. You see, sometimes what happens? We human. I see myself thinking that I can. Mashallah. You know how we, we say in America, I can beat the law. I can bend the rules. That's what I see. But you know what is funny? When you get sick, you realize you can never bend the rules. Just get sick and see. You are right there. Poor guy. Nothing. Somebody hold your hand. That's it. You cannot bend the rules. Even if may Allah give us help. If the sickness is too far, a nurse will come and knock your head. Go back, Mr. Muhammad, you look at her like this. You can't do anything. That's how life is. But when we are good in the insana, when we're okay, we think we're okay, that is when we think we don't need Allah. May Allah give us strong iman. So, what
Fear Allah in our dealings. 2024, fear Allah. But we did wrong 2023. Allah saw it. He knew it. May Allah forgive us. But fear Allah in this now. Because this what Allah is as you live and keep the fear of Allah. Because in Allah Habibur Bima Ta'amalu, He knows what you do. And at the end of the night, the last ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, when He said, when you stand for Allah, don't be like those who forget Allah and Allah cause them to forget themselves. Allah, look at the Ummah. Look at Muslims. We are very powerful. You, you start from Pakistan all the way to Morocco. You put all of us together. We, we close to 2 billion. Big nation, mashallah. But we, we forget ourselves. It's like a guy who has a stick. And the snake is playing, he said, well, look, hit it, hit the snake. He forgot he has a snake. He has what? He has a machete in his hand. He's looking, that's how we are. Because our lifestyle. We never put Allah first. That's what Allah keeps telling. Just put me first, I will do everything for you. Don't worry, just put me first. If you put me first, you're going to be okay. What line? Yes, it may, it may look rough. Life may look sad. But you're going to be okay because I am Allah. You know, when Rasulullah is saying, brothers, I think you read the story and the hadith was quoted by Imam Tirmizi that Prophet Muhammad said, when he went a servant is sick and he said, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. If a servant says, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allah will say to the servant, La ilaha illallah, ana wa ana al Akbar. And if a servant says, La ilaha illallah, Lahul Mulk wa Lahul Ham. If you say, La ilaha illallah, Lahul Allah will say, I'm Allah, Wali al Mulk, Wali al Ham. If a servant says, La ilaha illallah, Wala hawla wa la quwwata illa billah, Allah will reply and say, La hawla wa la quwwata illa bi. And look at the end of the hadith. Rasulullah said, If you say that and you happen to die in that sickness, fire will never burn you. That's the hadith. That's something different. But Allah is Allah. Who Allah, who Al Qahar, who He? Allah is the one who is. Allah is Allah. You can never define Allah unless the way He describes Himself. So Allah said, وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهَ فَأَنْسَاهُ أَنفُسَهُمْ Look at the head. أُولَئِكَ هُمْ الْوَرْفَ فَاسِقُونَ They are the transgressors. And fisku means rebellion. You listen to me, you don't want to listen. So my fellow brothers, I hope we will listen to Allah. Change our attitude this year that we begin. Because the sad thing is that, and I'm going to say something, excuse me. We don't wish that. I may be the one that I'm talking about. But we may not meet. If we are to be back here in 2024, some of us may not be here with us. That's part of life. And we don't think about that. So when we begin a new year, we just go slippery slope, as we say in America. We just speed. We don't think. Be careful. Put your feet on the brake. You may have an emergency in, in the middle of the road, but just don't go speeding for getting about an emergency. Believe me, we come back here 12 months from today, may Allah let all of us live. We pray for that. But Sunnatullah, that's the way Allah designed dunya. That's the way dunya is. I can't change this. I don't want my mother to die, but she will die. Who wants his wife to die? But she will die. Who wants his son to die? But he will die. But we just want to make the best that we have, the use, best use of our life. So my fellow brothers and my sisters in Islam, let us be mindful the life that we have. The life is given to you temporarily to take care of it. You're going to give it back to the owner or it will take it by force. Allah is the one who is going to take it by force. Day and night, understand that both of us, our life is taken. So, my good brothers, we finished last year. Alhamdulillah, we begin. You see, almost a week coming, that's how life is. So, I'm going to end up with what Abu Latahia used to say Ya Nafsu Kat Azif al Rahilu, wa Adalik Khatub al Jaleel. He said, my, Myself, my soul, Azif al Rahil. Death is, the departure is very close. Adalik Khatub al Jaleel. The hand of the mighty death is overshadowing you. But I say, my soul, be careful, prepare. Don't let long wishes play with you. 
Don't wish, play with our mind. And then you continue by saying, فَلَا تَنْزِلِ النَّبِي مَنْزِلِ يَنْسَ الْحَلِيلُ بِهِ الْحَلِيلُ وَلَا يَعْكَبَنَّ عَلَيْكِ فِيهِ مِنَ الثُّرَاتِ كِلُ الثَّقِيلِ You're going to be in a house where a friend will forget him. It's friend, that's true. Let's take a brother to the cemetery and bury him. Nobody will want to stay there. You bury a brother in a cemetery, nobody will want to stay there. And you know what is even sad about it? They come back home, I'm buried, you are buried, we come back home, that's the way it goes, whether we like it or not. Two days, your wife, you visit your wife in a dream, she opens the door, she sees you in the bedroom like a ghost, believe me, she will never go back to the house. That's right. Because you're not supposed to come back. If your son keep calling your name after your family bury you every day, daddy, daddy, they will call Imam Saab to do Rukia. You have become a ghost. That's how life is. That's the, those who like you, they cry you gone, but you come back in the night, they will all run away. SubhanAllah. Your name changed. But when we are alive, we think we are good. Everybody will like it. Die now and see what people will do after you. If you can die and come back, you will say, wow, I never knew life is like that, but we are not coming back. So let's take advantage of the, the remaining time we have to fix it. Because we are going to die. Year gone, year come, year gone. That's how our life is. So the end, the man said, Wala yarkabanna alayki fihi min al-turantikil al-taqiri Heavy sign will be your, your mattress. No, your, your blanket. Alhamdulillah, it's cold now, you put a blanket. You buy, you know, jelly from cold, mashallah, nice blanket, 2,000 blankets, so maybe with electric blanket. Alhamdulillah. But in the cover, it's going to be sand upon sand. Wallahi. And the man ended by saying, Kuril al fana ubina wa lam yafqa al-aziz wa al-zalim. Departure is with us. We come to go. Rich or poor, everybody will go. And then at the end, he continued by saying something I want us to go through and think about it. He said, In the Rizuki, I am warning you, please be careful. Allah. In the Rizuki, Allah yameen a bikin hawa fi man yameen. Don't let hawa, hawa nafs desire to bend you. Because at the end of the day, when you go to Afir in Latin, Ya'atalluha badlul ali. Death is the last sickness that when a man is sick or healthy will taste it. Alhamdulillah, we, 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 we're very fortunate. We cross 2023. Say, Alhamdulillah. Now we begin in this. That's why I'm warning myself. Let's change our attitude. Let's change our perception of dunya. And let's be real to our life. Because we are not going to live forever. I am not going to live forever. Every year, happy new year, happy new year. There will be no new year. I will be there. That's it. So last year, we were with him. See, we will become last year. No more happy new year. And it will happen. No doubt about it. But why? Let us prepare. I mean, Allah guide each and every one of us. اللهم آتي نفوسنا تقواها وزكيها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا أنت تجعل الهزن إذا ما شد سهل يا ميسر كل أسير اللهم انصر إخواننا في كل مكان اللهم انصرهم في فلسطين اللهم كن لهم عونا وسلالا اللهم عيلهم بتعيير اللهم كل من أرادنا وأراد بديننا بسوء اللهم يا ربنا عليك به واجعل تدبيره تدبيرا عليه واجعل هلاكه في نهره وانتقمه انتقامه انك فعل لما تريد اللهم انت الذي قلت في كتابك ادعوني استجب لكم يا ربنا كن دعواك في هذا في هذا اليوم المبارك وفي هذه الساعه المباركه ان تستجب لنا كما وعدتنا لعنا دعواك كما امرتنا انك لا تغلف المياه اقول ما تسمعون واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل ذنب فاستغفروه يغفر لكم انه هو الغفور الرحيم وصلوا على نبيكم صلى الله عليه وسلم